All right, hopefully uh, just a quick uh, response to, to uh, Modern Mystic video. Um, well, videos. Uh, again, I think he's, you know, he complicates the subject. And the subject, we ought to all stay focused. And he, he just kind of talks with quantitative easing and monetary reform and all these bullshit cuck nonsense. And it just kind of distracts from um, understanding what basically has taken place and why there is no solution. All you can do is kick the can down the road, as he would say. And he ought to just keep pointing out that that's all they're doing. They're propping up a completely broken economy. The economy is going to have to release itself of trillions of dollars in debt. So somebody's going to have to lose some money. And that's just the way it's going to have to be. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, so let's go over this again. What's basically taken place over the years is that people who have acquired ownership, wealth, or however you want to describe it, uh, they've got to possession of debt. Debt IOUs. That's simple. Okay? They've got possession of IOUs. And what has happened over time is IOUs have been made that have no tangible asset. Okay, it's not like somebody borrowed a train from somebody and, uh, you know, the train still exists and everything's just fine. No, they, they borrowed on the ability of them to pay the debt back in the future. And that was compounded and compounded and compounded over the years. And so now, a person born in a country like the United States is already born in indebtedness. There's a huge liability that has to be paid. One that might take a person decades to pay back if they could. If it were possible for them to generate enough productivity to do that. So the point is, is there's a, the rich haven't gotten richer because the world has made more excess stuff. It's that the stuff that exists, they've double rented and triple rented and quadruple rented. So the rent is, there's a basically a rental contract on the rental contract on the rental contract. And all this, when this, there's going to be a 29 style uh, run on the bank. And it's not going to be a run where average people are worried and they go to the bank to get their cash. Um, it's, it's because they think cash is valuable. Um, you know, they, or they think a bank is going to fail. But yeah, there's going to be a, a run out of uh, commodities that have their base price based on future earnings. Alright, so the stock market is going to crash. So a whole bunch of people who are highly invested in that market will have to lose their money. That's just the way it is. You can't, the stock market can't go down, you know, 80% or more uh, without people losing asset value, IOUs. Their IOUs will turn into garbage. Because a stock certificate is basically an IOU. It's a, it's a piece of currency, essentially. And so all bonds are currency. Cash is currency. And there's too much um, uh, overvalue in that um, currency. The relationship between the currency and an actual asset has been inflated. And so that rebalancing is going to have to take place. Um, yeah, so I mean a dollar is going to have to be a dollar again. And that's just the way it is. So there will be deflation first. And depending on what the government does, there could be huge inflation when things really get desperate. Because they, if they try to pay one form of IOU with another form of IOU, you can see that doesn't go anywhere. But if the IOUs they decide to start paying are the bonds, I mean, I've brought this up before, but I'll reiterate it. If, if the government starts giving cash, printing cash, not not acquiring cash, but just printing more cash into the economy. Cash is what people use to pay their taxes. Cash is the, the economy. That's the foundation. And they will inflate the value. They'll create inflation. They'll deflate the value, but in, create inflation in the economy 
when they start printing cash to pay bondholders. Uh, and that's when things will get really ugly. Um, but first, it's going to be deflation, and the world's going to be, uh, for the people who have kept their assets safe, yeah, they'll be able to start buying the world at a bargain price. And we'll just restart from a new position where there'll be no middle class. There'll be rich people and poor people. Pretty much the way things were at the end of the Depression. And there won't be any new world to build. There'll be an overpopulated world, resource deficient, and it's not going to be pretty. So, yeah, that's pretty much the story. But, I mean, all this talk about, like, there's some sort of... All the government can do is, is prolong. And by prolonging, you make the fall further. It's like just climbing the staircase, and you know it has to come to an end. You will fall off the edge. And they're just going to keep building stairs as long as they can. Because, basically, I guess they know, or it's, a, it's, a, it's just a political contrivance, that, uh, you know, whether you fall off a 500-foot cliff or a 450-foot cliff doesn't make much difference. You're going to get foobarred. So, yeah, enough of a video. But it's not really that complicated. There's just too many debt certificates I own. Too many people claiming ownership of too few assets. That's what's wrong with the monetary system. And uh, the fault... Is lies on 